The Denver Broncos select Damari Mathis, safety slash slot cornerback from Pittsburgh. Um, I think that this guy is a great zone and press corner. I think he fits better in the zone scheme. Um, my pro comp for him was Rashad Fenton, uh, 2019 pick from the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, here he is at the top of your screen right here, and you're going to see on this play how he's able to read and react on this play. It's very well. I think if he did this stuff in the slot, I think he would excel at that position. But again, with the Denver Broncos, you don't have a Chris Harris Jr. You don't have a Bryce Callahan. You don't have an Aqib Tlaib that can mentor a uh, Demario Mathis. Okay, so these are the type of plays I you know like to see from my corner, his instinctual ability. He's at the top of your screen right here. These are the type of plays that I want to see um, him make in the slot. I mean, that's a very good play on his part. His read and react right there was very well. Um, right here, Rashad Fenton, Demario Mathis, similar players in their own right. I think that when you have guys like that that are able to read and react, especially in the slot, that's going to help you out. His read and react right here is one of the best Um Bam. I love that read and react play by him. But if he played in the slot, I think he would be successful with that. His biggest strengths are compact and strong. Redirects release with, for, with forceful uh, shore. Can shuffle with inside or outside leverage in cover three. And so that's what I'm saying. He's a better cover three player than anything else. Um, can shuffle... Uh, he's a quick read and respond with zone. So you saw his quick read, his quick twitch. You know, I'm looking for hit fluidity. How quick are you able to turn? Bam. That was a really good play by him, um, DeMario Mathis. So if the Broncos put him in the slot, I think that this would be a very good uh, player. But again, do we have the player personnel to teach a guy like this? I don't think so. So this guy will probably be another... Uh, he'll be another... Basically a chess piece for the Denver Broncos, but a bad chess piece because they'll probably uh, try to experiment with him like they did Darren Browning. So I give this pick a solid C+. Plus. Um, I don't think I would have took a corner with that pick. you still got to upgrade your offense and defensive lines. Um, but uh, I see the thinking with this. But again, th to me, this is a C plus pick for the Denver Broncos. The biggest weaknesses for DeMario Mathis is his balance gets away from him. Can kick, he can't carry speedy receivers vertically. So to me, what I see from a DeMario Mathis is basically a very, I think he is better to be a slot corner with those twitch guys that can move inside where he doesn't have to go vertical with them, especially in the slot. Um, he loses tackle angles pursuing runners in space. So you're going to see right here on this play, He's going to stop right here. Here is DeMario Mathis. And on this play, he does a very good job tackling the quarterback from Clemson. But again, I think that he could have stopped him earlier instead of just waiting for him to get past the first yard, first yard line uh, line marker. And again, you're going to see right here. So on this play, you have Rashawn Mathis right here, DeMario Mathis. And then on this, you see how he just stops right here? You need to continue to come full speed. You don't need to wait and shuffle your feet and go over here. You can, you know, do better there. Okay, he does tackle him, which is great. He is a willing tackler, but his tackle angles aren't the best. So I think with a DeMario Mathis, his upside is very good. But I think that for right now, he needs a lot of player development. And I think that if you get a guy like this and you had a guy like a key to or a Chris Harris Jr. that played in the slot for years for the Denver Broncos. I think that this guy would make sense. But again, you don't have that. You have him teaching behind Kawan Williams. I mean that that's a big no no for me. But he does tackle him here, which is a good play on his part. But again, is this going to be a guy that is going to make an immediate impact? I think the Denver Broncos have shown I think they're going for more athleticism than potential. And to me, that's a bad sign. You're not going for the player growth. I'm not saying DeMario Mathis is a bad player, but I'm saying that this guy has still is a very raw player in his own right. So I think it was an okay pick. I give it a C plus, but uh, I think that if you put him in the slot, if you even make him play some safety too, I think that he has the ability to do that. His read and react is really good, but again, he's very raw the position.